Hi everyone, welcome back to Bookstream for Tweens. Um, today we have a great book to discuss. It's We Dream of Space by Erin and Trotta Kelly, so stick around. Alright, so welcome back to Bookstream for Tweens. Um, I am Leanne and I'm a librarian here at the Milton Library. Okay, so this book follows these three kids, um, their siblings, um, there's Cash, Fitch, and Bird. Um, so they all are dealing with different issues. Um, as a house, they, uh, as a family, their situation is not great. Um, their family life is not kind and loving and supportive. Um, and the kids are really feeling that um, they kind of keep to themselves. Um, so in this book, they're dealing with that this weird um, unpleasant family life and they're also dealing with their individual issues so cash he was um, like an athlete he played basketball and he had a recent injury so he can't play basketball anymore um, so he's struggling with um, the idea that he can't play sports anymore you know all of his friends play sports who is he what you know what is what he should do what should he do um, so he's um, struggling with that and um, cash is struggling with some anger issues um, and he also has um, an obsession with um, playing video games so he's always at the arcade um, so that is a big part of his story um, a lot of the the interactions he has with people um, in this book are at the um, arcade um, that, and that's that's kind of cool um, this book is set in 1986 so think of all the the old-timey <laughs> Um, arcade games that you might see. And then um, the female character, Bird, she is um, really, um, she likes going to school a lot. Um, she's very interested in the upcoming Challenger um, expedition, um, the space um, mission. <laughs> um, and her, her teacher in one of her classes is really um, getting into it too and trying to get the kids excited about it and get them involved in this big historic event that is the challenger mission um so bird kind of gets enveloped in that um and she's kind of wrapped up with that in her head a lot um characters are so cool um they're really well well written and you really root for them for sure um so that is just a little bit about we dream of space and I will read the first chapter, which is an introduction to Fitch. Um, so the chapters alternate between the three siblings. But I'm going to start reading from the first chapter. And this is Wednesday, January 1st, 1986. Ready for takeoff. The pinball machine didn't steal Fitch Thomas's quarter. Not really. But when one of the flippers is broken, there's no point in playing. As soon as Fitch realized this, something sparked inside him something ugly and familiar. He stared at the slot where he'd sunk his quarter only moments before. Easy does it, Fitch. Just go to Mr. Hinley's office and get your quarter back. No big deal. The blinking lights of the machine, Bright Star One it was called, seemed out of place in the arcade today. Fitch looked around. He was one of the only people there. Maybe it was too early for people. It was never too early for him. Ready for takeoff, the lights blazed. He left them behind and walked to Mr. Henley's office. The door with the manager stenciled above the frame was open as usual. Mr. Henley was manager, owner, and staff. When quarters were stolen, he was the man to see. Fitch cleared his throat. Mr. Henley, he said. Mr. Henley looked up from his ledger. Henry Nelson Thomas, my favorite patron. What brings you to the front office? This was what Mr. Henley always said, even though no one called him Henry, and Mr. Henley's office was in the back corner of the small arcade nowhere near the front. Fitch motioned half-heartedly toward Pinball Row. One of the machines is broken, he said. Mr. Henley placed both hands on his desk and stood up like President Reagan ready to face the Soviets. This is unacceptable, Patron Thomas, he said. Mr. Henley was what Fitch's mother would call an odd duck, but he moved fast. Within seconds, he was in front of the major havoc game in the center of the arcade, squinting at the screen. Not that one, Fitch said. He pointed at Bright Star 1, this one. Mr. Henley raised his eyebrows. But you're a major, major havoc guy. One from all, all from one, fighting for humanity and all that. 
Yes, it was true. On any given day, Fitch could be found at the park, Delaware Arcade. Officially named the Pinball Wizard, but known to the locals as the Arcade on Main, playing Major Havoc, a game that his best friend, Vern, said was a Star Wars wannabe, even though Maj Major Havoc had been released first. But whatever, Vern was so obsessed with Star Wars that Fitch had developed an unfounded resentment toward Luke, Han Solo, and the whole lot of them. Except Vader, maybe. Vader was kind of cool. The more Vern rags on Major Havoc, the more dedicated and defensive Fitch became, and now he was so preoccupied with beating his own high score that Major Havoc, in all his vector graphic glory, sometimes appeared in his dreams, demanding that he get to the reactor before anyone exploded. But today was January 1st, and Fitch had made a New Year's resolution to try something different. The last time he was here, his twin sister had come along and been entranced by Bright Star One. With its spaceship and lights, she didn't want to actually play it. Video games were not her thing. But she tried to convince him to give it a chance. He'd snapped at her to leave him alone, then felt bad about it later. So he'd gone to the pinball machine this morning, even though no one played pinball anymore. And now look what had happened. <laughs> Mr. Henley made his way to Bright Star 1 and tapped it affectionately. What's wrong with it? He asked. The right flipper's broken, replied Fitch. Mr. Henley pushed the button. When nothing happened, he said, it's impossible to play a respectable game of pinball with just one flipper. Duh, Fitch thought. Mr. Henley disappeared into the office and emerged seconds later with a sheet of paper with out of order written across it in fat black letters. The smell of magic marker, marker wafted in the air as he taped it across Bright Star 1. Thanks for the heads up, Patron Thomas, Mr. Henley said. He smiled. It was wide and pleasant and took up most of his face. Anything else I can help you with? Yeah, you can give me my quarter, Fitch thought. But he didn't say it out loud. The fire was too bright. All right, so that is the first um, chapter, and that is an introduction to our uh, one of our character main characters, Fitch. Um, I hope you guys check this book out, um, We Dream of Space by Erin and Trata Kelly. You can even go to um, Hoopla or eReads Kids. Um, even Overdrive have um, a lot of ebooks and audiobooks um, for middle grade readers as well. Um, so that's all I have for you today. So don't forget to send us your fan art um, for our Fan Art Friday video. It's coming up on the 4th Friday of the month. Um, so we'll have plenty of time to get everybody's fan art here. Um, the email address is down below, so make sure you check that out. Um, we'd love to see what your interpretation of this might be. Um, it could be characters, it could be anything space related, um, pinball, arcades. Um, so I can't wait to see what you guys send in. Um, I'm excited about that. And I will try to do some fan art also. So like I said, email address is down below and definitely send um, your fan art in. The subject of your email can be fan art, <laughs> like all caps. I know normally they say don't use all caps, but they say that, but you can use all caps so we don't miss your fan art being sent in to us. Definitely come back tomorrow because um, we are going to be talking more about Aaron and Trotta Kelly, who is awesome. Um, so come back tomorrow. We'll see you. Bye.